We went back again and again and again, and I took an excavator back. I said, oh boy, let's get something going. A normal day of digging deep underground in a faraway mine takes a crazy turn when a huge digger breaks through a rock that looks normal and finds something amazing inside. Is it a lost wealth, a hidden cave, or something even stranger? Let's learn more about this interesting story. Our story begins in a faraway part of the world, away from the busy cities. It's a rough place to be, with thick woods and high mountains all around the mine. It takes hours for trucks to get to this faraway place on rough, twisting roads. The clean, fresh air smells like pine trees. The area is very busy with tools and miners working non-stop to get valuable resources out of the ground. The goal of this operation is to get rare gems and valuable minerals like gold that are hidden deep in the rock. Miners work in shifts so that they can keep digging. Heavy equipment can be seen all over the site and it all works smoothly like a well-oiled machine. The symphony of industrial noises like motors humming and metal clinking shows how hard work mine is. The diverse mining team has clear roles for each person. The foreman, a miner with years of experience, is in charge of the whole process and makes sure everything goes smoothly. Operators of strong drills are very important because they make holes in the rock for explosives. To keep things from going wrong and to break the rock into pieces that can be handled for further processing, they have to be patient and careful. Blasters are in charge of the explosives. They carefully detonate them by inserting charges into holes that have been drilled. This is a very risky job that must follow all safety rules. The broken rock and debris are moved by people who drive trucks, bulldozers and excavators. The excavator is the strongest and most useful of these tools. It can easily cut through the toughest rocks. Geologists and engineers are also very important. Geologists look at rock forms to find the best places to drill, and engineers build and take care of the machines. This group works together as a single unit, with each member using a unique set of skills to help find secret treasure below the Earth's surface. When the sun rises at the mine site every day, it turns the wildland a golden color. While the miners do their normal work, the foreman makes sure that everything stays on plan. Drill workers work hard, and as their drills pierce the rock face, they make a rhythmic humming sound. Blasters set off charges and carefully put explosives into holes that have just been dug. Heavy machinery workers move carefully, clearing the way for the next step in the process and getting rid of any debris that gets in the way. The mining team's commitment and hard work are clear from the sounds of machinery. As the morning goes on, the miners' attention turns to a particularly stubborn rock formation that they have been trying to break for days without success. The manager decides to bring in the famously strong excavator that can handle any job. The skilled operator gets in the cab, turns on the engine, and moves the digger into place. The controls are quickly flicked and the bucket hits the rock with a lot of force. The ground shakes with every hit and dust fills the air. The other miners are very interested and can feel their excitement and expectation. Even though I've seen how strong the excavator is before, it's still exciting when it gets past a particularly tough challenge. As the bucket hits the rock over and over, it starts to weaken. After being hit, over and over for several minutes, the rock finally gives way with a loud crack and several smaller explosions. A big hole appears in the shape that was solid before. The workers rush forward, excited to see what's inside. That's when they are shocked by what they see, something truly amazing that they have never seen before. Everyone is stunned by the amazing finding, which stops the whole operation. Geologists and engineers are quickly called in by the boss to look at the find. Miners gather around, their faces showing a mix of shock and awe at having found something amazing 
that will get attention all over the world. As the experts start their examination, there is a lot of excitement and interest in the air. What the workers learn in the next few hours is going to change everything they thought they knew about the site. The huge excavator finally got through the tough rock formation that had been giving the workers fits for days. This strong machine was known for being able to handle the hardest tasks. It had a long arm and a big bucket that could hold a lot of weight. Joe, who was a skilled driver, got into the truck, started the engine, and led the excavator into place, making sure it had plenty of room. When everyone watched, they were eager to see if the digger would work where other tools had failed. Every time the bucket of the digger hit something, it made a loud boom that could be heard in the nearby mountains. The air was full of dust, which made it hard to see. To keep from breathing in the dust, miners put cloths over their eyes and mouths. Even though there was noise and dust, they kept their eyes on the digger, and you could feel their worry and excitement. They had been hitting this rock for days, and each hit made it seem like the next one would never end, which added to the tension. Then, all of a sudden, a loud snap could be heard that was different from the other sounds. After that, there were a bunch of smaller explosions that broke the rock in half. As the pieces fell apart, a dark hole could be seen inside. The digger moved away, its job done. The workers rushed forward, feeling a mix of happiness and shock at first. It was a soft whistle from the manager, who had seen a lot in his life. His eyes were wide with amazement. He said in a low voice, Would you look at that? There were a lot of other workers around, and their faces lit up with interest and wonder. Unbelievable, someone said, shaking their head in shock. Sarah, a young woman on the digging crew, was pushed to the front with her mouth open. She said in a whisper, This is unbelievable. We did it. The miners' excitement spread like wildfire, and their voices mixed into a chorus of wonder. Some people reached out and touched the broken granite, feeling the rough spots where the stone had broken. Some people recorded the event by taking shots with their phones. When the dust cleared, the workers could see what was inside the rock for the first time. Even though they only had a small view, what they did see was stunning. Glints of something shiny and mechanical there was nothing like what they were expecting to see. Joe looked out from the excavator's cab to get a better look. He asked out loud, What is that? The foreman moved closer and peered into the dark. I'm not sure, he said, but whatever it is, it's not ordinary rock. Sarah bent down to look at it more closely because she knew a lot about rocks. As she reached out, her hand was shaking with excitement. It's not like any metal I've ever seen, she said, but her voice was shaking. But it looks like some kind of metal. The boss gave a nod. We need to get the experts in here, he stated. This is too important to handle on our own. The workers got more and more excited as they looked at the find more closely. The metal pieces inside the rock were smooth and shiny, reflecting light in a way that made them shine like diamonds but they were not diamonds. They were something special. The miners talked about what they thought the discovery might be while they waited for the experts to arrive. Some people thought it might be an old artifact or a very rare element. An air of joy and wonder filled the room as everyone rushed to find out more about the find. Sarah was interested in rocks, so she couldn't help but be amazed at the things that were buried in the rock. If this is what I think it is, she said with awe in her voice, we may have just found something very important in recent history. The foreman agreed and shared her joy. We're about to find out what it is, he said. I have a feeling this is just the start. At night, when the day was over, the mine site was very busy. The workers were getting more and more excited about the find as the hours went by. They couldn't stop talking about it because they knew something big was about to happen that would be seen around the world. The workers knew 
that the answers they were looking for would come soon, even though it felt like forever. They were excited to find out what all their hard work had led to. As soon as the experts got there, an important part of the plan began, testing and analyzing the strange items found in the rock. A group of metallurgists, archaeologists and geologists got their tools together and were ready to find out what the shiny metal items were made of. They carefully took small samples from the artifacts and secured them so they could be taken to a makeshift lab that had been set up on the site. Geologists used powerful microscopes to look at the sample's texture, content, and other physical features. Metallurgists, on the other hand, used advanced methods like mass spectrometry and X-ray fluorescence XRF, to do experiments to find out what the chemicals were. As the tests went on, the experts saw some data that surprised them. The substance was made up of rare elements that don't usually appear together in nature. It was different from anything they had seen before. The items. Unusual crystalline structure made it seem like they were made in unusual conditions. The archaeologists were equally interested in the object's shape and how well they were made, which showed that they were made by a very skilled and intricately designed ancient society. They looked at the design by using exact measurements and 3D models. The specialists' preliminary results were shared with the mining team. The first person to speak was the famous scientist Dr. Emily Carter. She spoke with great excitement, this material is extraordinary. These objects were made under very unusual circumstances based on their crystalline structure and unique mix of elements. We've never seen anything like this before. A metal worker named Dr. John Ramirez agreed. The chemical composition is truly unique, he stated. These things have rare earth elements that are usually found in different parts of the world. I can't believe they're all here together. An expert on old artifacts, Dr. Laura Kim, compared the things to similar things that have been found in the past. The skilled work is amazing, she said. The designs and patterns show that a lot of skill and knowledge was used. This could be proof of a very advanced society that we don't know anything about. The experts' opinions made the mystery and thrill even stronger. Both the experts and the miners were interested in finding out more about the past and the meaning of the artifacts. The experts were ready to share their results after days of careful testing and research. With eager looks on their faces, the mining team crowded around. Dr. Carter moved forward with something small in his hand. We have conducted extensive tests and analyzed the data, she told us. We were shocked by what we found. These things are not just uncommon, they are truly unique. Crystalline structure, skill, and the mix of elements all point to the same result. As the anxiety rose, she took a moment to breathe. These are not formations that happen naturally. They were made by people, maybe by a society that lived thousands of years ago before history was written down. People in the mines gasped in shock. They thought the items would be valuable, but this was a huge surprise. Based on our research, we think these items were made by a very advanced society that had access to rare materials and technology, Dr. Kim said, while holding a 3D model of one of the artifacts. This civilization had a high degree of skill in both technology and the arts. It was clear what the discovery meant. It made people question what they thought they knew about ancient societies and showed that there was a lot more to learn about the past. The things weren't just old artifacts, they also gave us information about a time in history that not many people know about. The digging team was amazed as the experts told them what they had found. And then they found something that would change the way people thought about the past. The things were valued not only for what they were, but also for what they could teach. The mine site, which used to be a place of regular work, was now a center for scientific study. There was a sense of pride and success among the miners as they realized they had helped find something truly amazing. 
people from nearby villages and towns flock to the spot to get a look at the historic find, making the community buzz with pride and excitement. The two miners, who were praised as heroes, told anyone who would listen about their experiences. Their friendship and sense of accomplishment were clear. The discovery got the attention of people all over the world very quickly. People who were interested in history, science and wealth all wanted to know more. Study centers and universities got in touch to work together on more studies. The story was covered by major news sites and made headlines around the world. This amazing discovery was just the start. The experts knew there was a lot more to learn about the artifacts and the people who made them. They planned to dig deeper and do more study to find out more about this ancient culture. The mining team was happy to have been a part of such an important find, and they returned to work with renewed energy. They were not only getting rocks out of the ground, but also finding pieces of history. Find out more about the mysteries below the Earth's surface in our next movie. Sign up to get updates on new and amazing findings.